Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen scope of the variable in Python, local and global, as well as block scope. Although there is no such type of scope in Python, block scope, right? So we have discussed in previous video local scope and global scope, or you can say what is a local variable and global variable, right? Now a small concept is remaining that is global keyword. Yes, there is a global keyword in Python. Why we use that keyword? Global keyword uh, is different from global scope or global variable. Okay. Now try to understand the difference and why we use this global keyword. When to use this global keyword? What is the use of this thing? Okay. Let's see this thing with the help of program or you can say example directly. Right. So now I have created this file global underscore keyword dot py and Simply I am taking uh, that previous example uh, that we have seen in the previous video. So I am just uh, de defining a variable a is equal to 10 and I am just having the same uh, function like display right and if I print this a in within this uh, function then what will happen see first of all tell me scope of this variable is global scope because this is in the main body of the python code not within any function right this is having global scope right now i am accessing this variable within this function within this function right then what you think it is correct or not yes it is correct we can access global variable from you know inside a function as well right so it will print 10 okay that's fine now, if within this I am having another variable a is equal to suppose 15, right? Now, this time what this a will print? It will access definitely this a because this a is local to this function. See, generally what we do, like if something is available at our home, then we don't go to our neighbors and, you know, ask for that thing like sugar or anything else. So, we go to our kitchen and we just pick out that box of sugar and all. If you don't have that thing, then you can go to your neighbor and ask for that thing. So that is same thing. Now this A, print A means this A is with this, this function only. So it will access this A only. So it will print this time 15, right? If there is no A, then it will print this A. So, but if I'm not having any global A and I want to access this A, this A is now local, right, local to this function and I am going to print this A outside of this function. Let's comment out this A. Now what do you think? Let's run this. This will give error. The name A is not defined, right, because from outside we cannot access any local variable. Local, a variable having local scope can be accessed within that scope only means within if you are defining this within this function you can access this a within this function only right not outside of this function okay now see i am having a global variable and suppose see you can access global variable within a function inside a function that is not a, at all a problem but if you want to modify this value Suppose if I want to do a is equal to a plus 1. So what do you think? This print, this print a, this will print 11. Let's run this. See, it will give an error message. Local variable a referenced before assignment in line number 3. You cannot, it means you cannot modify a global variable. You can access it from within a function right but you cannot modify it but if there is a need urgent need to modify although it's a terrible idea to modify a global variable a global a variable having global scope right but if you want to modify it a global variable then yeah there is a solution first of all you have to use what is the solution you have to use global keyword global and the name of variable a now it means you are referring to this global variable a and now you can modify this a is equal to a plus 1. Now a becomes 11. 
right. So, if you print this A here, then it will print now 11. So, one use of this global keyword is what? If you want to modify a global variable, then you can use this global keyword, right. Means if you want to modify a global uh, variable from inside a function, then you can use this glo global keyword. Second, uh, second uh, you know thing is what? If I am not having any global A variable, right. So, I am having a display function and suppose I am having inside a function a is equal to 10 or a is equal to 20. Inside this I am having another function. I am taking example of nested function, a function name show, okay. And within this function, inner function, the show, I am having global keyword global a and a is equal to a plus 1. Now what do you think? Like if this a will modify this a and it will become 21 and suppose within this I want to print a, okay. But for that you have to call this show function. So you can call this function show inside this display only because it is local to this display, not outside of the display and outside we can call display only. So what do you think? This a will print 21, right? Let's run this. See, it will give an error. Name A is not defined in line number 6 here. In line number 6. A is not defined. Because, see, the global A means outside of this function, outside of any function, if there is a variable A, then it will search for that variable. But there is no such variable here. So, how you can modify that variable? Okay. So, suppose if you are not modifying this variable and I am just changing the value a is equal to 30. Now, pause the video and think what will happen and what this print will print. Let us run this. See, it will print 30. Okay. Now, I am not using this print inside this show but here. Outside of this show but inside display this print a then I am calling show and again I am printing a. So, let us modify this let us print out value of a before calling show fun function is this and after calling this function is this. Let us run this and see it is 20 and 20 both the time not 30. Why so? Because see Here I am calling, I am printing this A. So, it will search for a local variable A. So, local variable to this display is this A. It is printing 20. Now, after calling show, means you will think global A and A will become 30. And now at this point of time, it will become, it will print 30. But no, this A is not global. See, this A is within this function. So, it is having local scope. There is no global A. So, after calling show also, it will print A. Uh, 20 only, right? And if I print a this outside of this display function, then what do you think? What this a will print? Maybe you will think there is no, there is no global a, so it will give error. No. Let us run this. See. 20, 20 and 30. 30 means this a. So, second use of this global keyword is what? You can create a global variable from inside a function only or you can say from a known global scope because from a local scope we are creating a global variable A. So, global A means we are referring to a global A. So, there is no global A. So, it will create a A and it will assign the value 30 to A and now globally it will print 30. So, you got the uses of this global keyword, right? to create a global variable from a known global space or you can say from inside a function or second thing is to modify a global variable from inside a function we use global keyword. So, global variable, global scope and global keyword I hope you are not going to confuse in these terms now right. So, mainly this line will show that we are referring a global variable which is defined 
outside of this function means which is defined globally right and if there is no global variable it will create a global variable a and if you assign the value then that value would be assigned to that thing. So I hope now you have a good idea of this global keyword, global scope, global variable and local variables. So now you one question for you is this is the code name is equal to Jenny's then in display function I am just updating modifying this name and printing name after calling again I am printing this name. So what would be the output of this code you can let me know in comment section right. Now I think that is it for this video that is not so much tough right. So now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.